theorem. A two by two matrix A equals A, B, C, D is invertible if and only if this quantity here is not zero. And if that's the case, then we can write the inverse explicitly using this formula over here. Because this quantity AD minus BC is so important, we actually give it a special name. We call this quantity right here the determinant. So this is called the determinant. A little squiggly line under there of the matrix A. And we write it, we denote it by a special symbol DETA. We can use this we can use this theorem to give an alternative way to decide that the matrix B equals minus 1, 3, 2, minus 6 from the intro video for this lesson is invertible. Well, we just look at the determinant of that matrix. So the determinant of B is equal to minus 1 times minus 6 minus 3 times 2 which is equal which is equal to 6 minus 6 which is 0 and therefore we conclude just as we did in the intro video no it is not invertible so why does this formula work well I want to focus on just part of the formula I'm going to uh, forget about that 1 over determinant part and just look at the product of the matrix A a, B, C, D, and the rest of the right-hand side, D minus B minus C, A. When I multiply this out, let's see what I get. Well, I get A, D minus B, C minus A, B plus B, A, C, D minus D, C minus B, C plus B, A. This guy here is zero. So is this guy. And then I could factor out an AD minus BC from this whole thing to give AD minus BC times the identity matrix. Because this guy right here, this is the determinant of A, remember? So if the determinant of A is not zero, then we get a, B, C, D times 1 over determinant of A times D minus B minus C A is equal to 1 over the determinant of A times A, B, C, D, D minus B minus C A, scrunching it a little bit over here which is equal to 1 over the determinant of A times the determinant of A times I, and these determinants cancel out. And so, taking into account theorem 3.6, I conclude that this guy over here is indeed the inverse of the matrix A.